Hey Horror Gamers, I'm Mike from Epic Hub Studios and welcome to the Epic Hobby. Today I'll be painting the Reaper Minis Mousling Rogue. First I started by base coating the entire model in black. That's a pretty boring step so I'm just going to skip right past it and begin base coating the cloak and his cowl with a dark purple color. Next, I'm base coating his belt and leather pouch with a dark brown. I'm also going to paint the inside of his ears with the same brown color, though I'll lighten it up later. To help draw attention to the mouseling's face, I'm going to paint his muzzle a lighter color than the rest of his fur. In this case, I'm using a light bluish gray. This is Vallejo Wolf Gray. Next, I'm roughly highlighting the upper surfaces of his muzzle using Vallejo Ghost White. Next, a little bit of pinkish red for his tongue. And some light pink for his nose. I believe this is Vallejo Squid Pink. Rather than trying to paint eyes this tiny, I'm just going to put a small white glint on each eyeball. Here I'm using a light tan color plus the brown shade that was previously used to really start detailing the inside of his ear. I'm going to do a little bit of wet blending between the two colors, just by laying it down quickly and kind of smearing between the two shades. You can see here I'm painting on the darker brown before the tans really had a chance to dry, so I can just push the two colors back and forth and get some interim color without having to blend it on a palette. I'm throwing a little bit of metallic gold on his belt buckle, his cloak's clasp, and the hilt of his dagger. Next I'm base coating his tail using the same tan color I used for the inside of his ear. Next a little metallic silver for the blade of the dagger. Now I'm going to start building up highlights and details of his cloak and cowl. I'm using Vallejo Game Color Hexed Lichen, which is just a slightly lighter purple than the color I've already used. You can see here I'm mostly focusing on the sharper edges and just the larger flat areas that might need more natural light to fall on them. I'm leaving the royal purple base coat showing in the deepest crevices of his cloak.
Now I'm gonna add some extreme highlights using Vallejo Game Color Warlord Purple. Because this color is more of a vibrant pink than a purple, I want to use it sparingly, so I'm really focusing just on the sharp edges and the most raised surfaces. Next, I'm using a light brown to highlight his belt and leather pouch. There's no fur covering the rogue's fingers or toes, so I'm going to paint them a flesh color as well. I'm going to start by just using the same dark brown that the belt and leather pouch were base coated in. Using the same light brown that the belt was highlighted in, I'm also going to highlight the fingers and toes. Because mouse ears are very thin, light tends to shine through them, so I'm going to use a very light flesh tone now to just start highlighting the inside of the ear, because I kind of want to make it look as though light could be passing through it. It's a bit of a hard effect to get with a miniature when you're painting it, but basically by making these areas a lot brighter, it'll kind of give that appearance, and that's good enough. Now I'm going back to the belt highlight color, which is just a little bit darker than the flesh highlight color, it's just so it sort of looks like the ear curls around and has a bit of an internal shadow. Now it's time to do something about the boring, flat, black fur he's got everywhere. I'm going to be using a light gray and just adding some edge highlights and sort of some spot highlights in a few areas. I'm starting with the tops of the ears where just some natural light would be falling. Here I'm drawing a little bit of attention to his hands and shoulders. To make the fur look really shiny, I'm going to hit these highlights and just add some spots of pure white. These are just sort of small focal points to help the fur just have some extra definition and look like there's some glinty shiny spots in the fur. I felt like the bottom of this model was a little bit too boring, so I'm adding some highlights to the fur on his legs as well. Using the flesh tone from the inside of the ear, I'm also going to brighten up his tail.
And finally, I'm going to use an Agrax Earthshade Wash on just about everything besides his cloak. So I'm going over all the leather pouches, his tail, adding some shadows to his ears, over the metallic areas on his dagger and around his clasp, pretty much everything that's not fur. And with that, the Mouseling Rogue is done. You can see this guy in Magic Murder Mice, my series of Frostgrave battle reports featuring my Reaper Mouselings. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to do something epic. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you liked that one, why don't you check out some battle reports right over here, or check out more epic hobby content right over here. If you really like what I'm doing and want to support my creative efforts, I really urge you to become one of my supporters on Patreon. You can find out more about that right here. Thanks for watching.